Uh, so welcome to The Voice. I am Peter New. I would like to... Um, I would like to, uh, to introduce everybody here. Uh, I will start, however, by saying that uh, this is an awesome idea. Several, a number of people, uh, you know, submitted to this, did voices, and we have winnowed the finalists down to five. So today what we'll be seeing is five finalists competing against, uh, uh, you know, for our panel of celebrity judges, and we will select a winner. And what does the winner receive? Sonia, what does the winner receive? I don't know this. I'm going to find this out. What does the winner receive? The winner. What does the winner get? Oh, secret. The winner gets something we'll announce when they win. Awesome. First, are you guys ready for this? How about you people over in the corner over there? Are you in the corner ready for this? This corner, is this corner readier than that corner? Third row back in the middle to the left. Are you ready? Awesome. Thank you for checking. You were the third row. Everybody, are you ready? Oh, yeah. Let me take this time to introduce your first celebrity judge of the evening. Nicole Oliver. Where are you? Your own Princess Celestia. Your second celebrity judge of the evening is none other than Brian Drummond. And last but not least is the stunning, I'm told to say, Tara Strong. Because it's true, right? Come on. It's true. Hi. Now, this was your brainchild, yeah? What? You thought of it. I did. Do you like it? I like it. Do you like it? Where's your dress? I have my dress nearby that I will pack it and take it home and wear it privately. Now, Tara Strong has reserved the right to have two consultants. She only gets one vote. Each judge gets one vote, but Tara has two consultants. Doot, doot. Can everybody say, Roxy, get on stage? One, two, three. That's right. That's, That's right. Good peer we need a chair for Roxy. Tara, would you like to introduce your whatever's happening no, with you? No. Oh. Okay. This is what's happening. Do you guys know what the prize is? It, we were told it was a secret. Oh, I'm not allowed to tell you. <laughs> it's going to come at the end. So I hear what? It will blow your mind. Cause it's hardcore. <laughs> I have no idea either. I don't know. Okay, so we had a lot of amazing entrants. I heard, and um, we've got it down to five finalists. Where are they? Five. Five. They're oh. over there. Shall we bring our five finalists yeah, to the stage? Up. Come on up. Come on up, finalists. Come on stage. Well, well, well. Thank you. Um, why don't you have them introduce themselves? I uh, I was just about to take care I've of that. I've got an idea. As your why don't you have them Brian introduce Secrets. themselves? Okay, yeah, why don't you I'm introduce gonna themselves? I'm going to do that. I'm okay, going to do, do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Go ahead. I'm doing it. You're like Brian Dunkelman right now, okay? Uh, I, I, we'll make out again later, okay? Go ahead. I'm going to do it now. <laughs> so, we're going to introduce you. Uh, what can you tell everybody your name? Chris. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's a good start. Chris Birchdold. Excellent news. Where are you from? Where are you from? <laughs> Cincinnati, Ohio. Cincinnati, Ohio! Woo! Right. Next up. Hello, my name is Gabriel Gentile, and I moved to Van Nuys in February. Van Nuys! Van Nuys! And? My name's Lizzie Freeman, and I'm from Anaheim, California. Anaheim! 
Is there anyone from California in the house? Never mind. Next. I'm Heather Beatty, and I'm from a really small redneck town called Centralia. So, yeah, this is the most luxurious place I've been to right now. Centralia! Centralia! And? Hi, my name is Peter New. Yes. But I'm actually, my name is Spencer. Um, I come from California. And, uh, yeah. Yay, California. <laughs> right on. California! So do we have a way of determining who gets to go first? Are we flipping five, well, a five-sided coin? you know, coin? I'd like to give them all an opportunity to show their best, best voice that they do and or impression. So you can go down the line again, too, just so they can really shine. All right. So just go down the line from your start. Your best, Whatever you think is your impression, best impression huh? or your best character voice, this is your only chance you're ever going to get to shine for the world, so don't blow it. Yeah. Absolutely no pressure. Let's... We have a oh, we have a mic. Oh, yeah. They can go up we to the main mic. We have a mic up here yeah. for you. So why don't you come up to the main mic? All right. Well, I guess that's fine then. Hello. How y'all doing? Hey, my name is Paul Lynn. I used to be on the Hollywood Squares, Center Square. If you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> listen, Miss Mrs. Oliver. Listen, I gotta tell you, I just love your dress. It's a, oh, what size? I would love to. Uh, no, I won't fit in it. Never mind. I'm a little, I've got a little bit of a cut on me, but it's okay. I like it. Let's give it up for him. That's right great. On. Give it up for Chris. Okay. Well, I, I don't really, I, I don't, don't, don't really do no impressions, but uh, I, I, I can do this guy from Brooklyn, you know, cause, uh, cause he's not too smart, you know, and, uh, and, 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 he, and he works in a garage, you know, and, uh, and like that. <laughs> right on. Hey. Woo. I have no idea what that was, but it was hilarious. So, that was funny. Yeah, we'll give it to her. Yeah. Well, um, there's not much to know about me, just that I like muffins, like to deliver things, and I really, really love every pony here right now and ever all the finalists. So, yay, muffins! Yeah. Uh, yeah. Too tall for this thing, huh? Is it good? Okay. Hey, how you brownies do? Oh, okay, you do your thing. It's cool. <laughs> oh, you finished? How come you don't tell us, sister? All right, how you doing, y'all? How we doing? Oh, what's up, girl? How you doing? Hey, it's my buddy right here. That's right, girl. What's up, Purple T? Uh, and uh, that's fine, mother right here. Ooh, you don't even know. First time I saw, I was like, ooh, ooh. I want me some of that. It's Princess Celestia. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Now, Do you guys want to each give him a vocal challenge? A vocal challenge? That was a trial by fire, the likes of which I have rarely had to participate in. Congratulations to all of you. That was hard, and you all did great. Welcome. I got to find out what's happening here with the judges. We're debating on the next challenge. We're going to give it up for Nicole Oliver. She's going to give them a challenge. All right. You are in outer space. Uh-oh. Um, you don't have to be human but you're not necessarily identifiable. You're from space, you are in space, and your mother-in-law has just shown up for an unexpected visit. Let's go reverse order this time, so why don't you start? Go. <laughs> take a moment, take your time, when you're ready. Still too tall. <laughs> Mother is coming. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I don't have anything clean. I have to get ready and raw. But first I'll make pie and cakes for mother. Oh, I need to wear clean clothes. 
But my laundry. My laundry. Where's my laundry? Let's stop before he passes yeah, out. Yeah, okay, let's get That was awesome. 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 You can be alien, you can be in outer space, you can be in the United States of America, and you can be an alien too, you know, but you know, you gotta do something different and interesting, and your mother in law is coming go. Well, if you say alien, I'm gonna go ahead and do my best British accent just to insult any British people out there. No, I'm kidding. I see you, Monty. I just thought of you when I saw this. Uh, let's see, mother. Oh, gosh, she's just such a little. Oh, PG audience, I'm sorry. Uh, she's just such a. Wanker, that's what the British people say. Yes, wanker. I mean, I just know she's going to tell me that I made the crumpets too good. I mean, they're just not dry enough. They're just not full of much blandness enough. And oh, jeez. And if I swear if I have to hear another spoonful of sugar from that woman, I'm going to lose my top hat. And that is as <laughs> insulting as I think I can get. I better leave before she tries to kick my butt. Right on, awesome. Nice. Thank you. Help with your microphone. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> microphone help. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice to be done. Nice to be done. <laughs> Dearest mother, welcome. It's so good to see you. Please come this way. We have the room all prepared for you. Just ignore the sign that says airlock. <laughs> I like it. Right on. <clears throat> Working on my spaceship here again. Hey, could you hand me that spark and wrench, Mother? Mother! What are you doing here? What? Trying to find a husband? Well, you're not going to find anything here except for... No. I told you he's my best friend. We're going into a business together. You don't need to date him, all right? Ricky, run! <laughs> <laughs> Mother, I will not give you his phone. Fine. Here's his phone number and his address. Go, just go. Woo! Leave me be. Is that everybody? Uh, all right, Peter. Yeah? Will you... Go behind and touch heads. We're going to get audience voting on who won All that right. challenge. Everybody take a big step forward, please. By audience applause. Audience applause. Alien challenge. Nicole's challenge. Let's see who won. By your applause. So you have to be loud for your favorite okay. starting... Nicole, since you chose that challenge, do you have a favorite? I do, but I, I need a little, I need a further little thing. Uh -huh. So I like you and you, yeah, Cheesecake Factory girl. You come up, yeah, you. Come here, you come up here to the mic. And in your voices, your alien voices, you're going to have a conversation on the microphone. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta jump and you gotta shrink. Here, wait, wait, come here, come here. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> yeah. Woo. You guys want to vote? Oh, that's a tough right, one. Right. Okay. Gonna... Would you like Thank to? You. Would you like to know? I have a. I admit a decision. I can tell you. Nicole Oliver, who won your space challenge? Well, I think you were all fantastic, and I thought you two were great. But you, sir, win because you listened. You actually made me, I could hear in English what you were saying. You had the conversation happening. You both were doing it, but I think you did it a little bit more. And that's always something to do in voice acting, right? You actually have to act and you have to listen and react. So that was very good, all of you. Very good. Hey. Very good. Bravo. Yep. Congratulations. Next challenge. challenge. I would like all of you to choose a villainous voice. And that can be very sweet, very evil, however you want it to be. And in a short period of time, you are talking only to yourself about how to dispose of one of the main six so you <laughs> can take their place. <laughs> that now. is your job. So this is a dis you're in your own lair coming up with what you need to do. You seem like you were the most excited for this challenge, so I'd she, like you to go she first. She seems like the most evil. As soon as she heard the word evil, she jumped oh, up and down. No. <laughs> oh, those main six, but they're so precious. They think that just every pony loves them in all simple ways. But I know that I deserve that attention. What if she is six years old? Go. I know that I'm the one who deserves all the attention. I know that I'm the one that should be loved and adored. But, but, I will get my way. What if she's six and British? Go. I will get my way, one way or another. And there's nothing that no pony or any creature can do to stop me. <laughs> yes! Yes! All right. Yes, now that you've started it, you must all end with an evil laugh. Yes. One that I, we must believe. Yeah, and moi, right. ha ha. Ha ha. Who's the next most evil? Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, this will be perfect. Once I'm done constructing this catapult, I will trick Rainbow Dash into flying as quickly and as fast. But back. he's German. Speaking English, German. <laughs> I want you to do. I can't. German accent is what I mean. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, I get what you say now. Okay, fine. Well, uh, I will ruin this, this rainbow dash. I will kill her. <laughs> yes. And he has an adenoid problem. <laughs> he talks through those adenoid, adenoid problem. Adenoid problem. Uh, Where the German accent goes. Uh, with the German accent, okay. Well, anyway, I would, yes, I will end her. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. What? 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 what, what? I can't find well. And the laugh. <laughs> Excellent. Next most evil. Next most evil. You are the next most evil. I know it. Evil. Those main six have had it too good for too long. <laughs> Okay, here's my plan. I'm going to take the earth, and then I'm going to put it in a catapult. And then I'm going to set the earth into and the sun. And you're so sexy, it hurts. And then I'm going to, I'm going to fling the earth into the sun. <laughs> She's Russian sexy. I'm trying to channel my inner groove here. <laughs> Try this. Do Svidanya. This is the way. You can make her sexy. Me also. I'm a little bit Russian. Make her sexy and Russian. That's what Give I'm her very big boobs. Very big boobs. 
These poops I don't actually have. I'm going to <laughs> catapult the earth into the sun. And everything and shakes when you burn. laugh. Everything shakes when you laugh. Now go. <laughs> All right. Woo. She had big bobs. Big bobs. Big bobs. Here comes the meme. You may do what you need to do with your microphone, my sir. <laughs> well, well, well. It's no longer a matter of can I defeat them? It's a matter of who can I defeat with their greatest weakness. You're an eight-year-old boy. <laughs> Rarity with her pride? Is it Rainbow Dash with her vanity? And you have a lisp. Or is it Fluttershy with just about everything else, really? And you're constipated. Fortunately, I have to be somewhere right now. <laughs> and the laugh. <laughs> All, right. All right. And the champion from last round. Drag queen. <laughs> Evil drag queen. With everything that I have, I will find the power to destroy you. And it's gonna be lovely. You won't even see me coming. I'll be walking to your little sugar cube corner, and oh. You're and you're French. And then you're going to see me walk into your sugar cube kill now. Uh, wow. And next thing you know, it will be me throwing the pies at you, Miss Pink Yamina Tai and Pie. He's 12 feet tall, 600 pounds for the laugh. But still a French drag queen. But still a French drag queen. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, Peter, are you scared? Because those are normally the parts you get. I know, I'm always the six foot tall, 12 foot tall French drag queen. I know. I know. <laughs> Should we do another audience applause? Yeah, audience right, applause. Go. Everyone take a big step forward. By applause, your favorite. Wow. We might have to have, wow. just for me, since this was my a little yeah. conversation between the cheese head and the French drag queen. All right, now, hello. <laughs> Here go. Conversation. So, yes, we, yeah, yeah, you will need a microphone. And, uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> now, let's see. We, this will be uh, uh, one of you is the villain, and one is the, uh, the henchman to the villain, discussing once again how to become one of the main six. But you're both villainous. I am so friggin' bored. What do you want to do today, boss? We are going to do something fun today, Minion. Oh, tell me more. Now, calm yourself. Tell me, tell me, tell me! 
quiet you! <laughs> this takes precision, planning, and of course my wit. And a lot of other P words. Like what? Like uh, patience, so oh, great and mighty one. That's right. Patience is the name of the game. If we are patient enough, our plan will come to fruition. <laughs> but if we're hasty, guess what happens to you? If we fail. Dun, 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 dun. I'm sorry about that last time! And now laugh. All right. Do you guys have an opinion on who won that challenge? Ooh, so I, I gotta close. go with Mr. Cheese. Mr. That's it. I think the minion takes it. Minion takes it. Minion. The minion I takes think Mr. It. Cheese as well. Congratulations. I got to go with the big bad there, actually. All right, well, I've got another challenge for you. A big part of voice acting is cold reading, and a big part of voice acting is commercials. So I'm going to give you each a commercial to read cold. You cannot plan it. It's going to be like, like any of us have had on these auditions. So step forward. Yeah, you come in. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Go up to the mic and read. The little read the copy that copy starts there. with get and goes all the way down to the um, the URL. Uh -huh. Yep. From the get. As if that's a radio or TV commercial. Radio commercial. This is a never ending problem. <laughs> get GPS directions straight to the club. Receive updated Hustler Honey schedules. Browse our delicious food and drink menus. Let us host your party by submitting an RSVP form. Earn loyalty points for Hustler Rewards every visit. Sign up for our mailing list and receive exclusive VIP info. Keep track of events and add them to your phone calendar. Receive push notifications for special events and performance. Very nice. Okay, I want read the bottom line. Does it have a phone number and a URL there? Yeah. Okay, read that. That's the end of your spot. And then I have a challenge for you. 1031 Kearney at Broadway, 415-434-1301, www.hustlerclubsf.com, hashtag Hustler Club SF, at SF underscore Hustler Club. That's great. Okay, here's my challenge. So we actually have four seconds for that tag. So I need you, you know when you're reading those, you hear those ads and they say, take this medication for constipation, but if you take it, you may die. And if you have this, don't do this because if you have that, it'll do that and everything else will happen because, so you've got to get all that out clearly, as quickly as you, no, no, just the last, the tag. The tag is the last little bit of a commercial. So I want that last little bit as quickly and as clearly as you can make it. 1031 Kearney at Broadway, 415-3434-1301, www.hustlerclubsf.com, hashtag hustlerclub, at sfhustlerclub.com. All right. Thank you. Nice. Would you like to pick the next challenge commercial spot? What do you want to read it? Next victim. What do you want to... Mr. Cheesehead, come here. The literate watering, the literate watering hole. Looking for a modern, classy lounge. Looking for a modern, classy lounge where you can get a taste of San Francisco's famed artisan cocktail scene. Look no further than Novella, a sizable, sexy space that's popular with the financial district crowd, with the financial district crowd, and conveniently located near downtown hotels in Moscow Center. And Moscow Center. Here, the aforementioned artisan. Here, for the aforementioned artisan. Here, for the aforementioned artisan libations won't necessarily. Here, the aforementioned artisan libations won't necessarily won't necessarily require the won't necessarily require the notorious 10-minute wait, thanks to six punches on tap, a number of craft cocktails named for literary characters Ichabod Crane, Jacob Marley, are also on the menu, as well as beer and wine. The library theme the library theme flows into the polished, clever decor. The library theme flows into the po the library theme flows into the polished, clever decor. Most notably, the most notably the rainbow wall of vintage books. 662 Mission Street, 
662 Mission Street, 4, 662 Mission Street, 415 896 6500 not 415 896 Not so easy, is it? It's not as easy as it looks. So now, if I was casting that commercial, I would direct you to speak lower in your register because you're talking about sexy cocktails, right? Slow, Slow it down, down. yes. Yeah. So maybe read the first few sentences read again? Read the first few sentences slower, slower and lower in your vocal register. And I want you to think of who you are reading it to. Looking for a modern, classy lounge where you can get a taste of San Francisco's famed artisan cocktail scene? Look no farther than Novella, a sizable, sexy space that's popular with a financial district crowd and conveniently located near downtown hotels in Moscow Center. That's good. Now, yeah, you know what? You, he, you just showed some good vocal range. That's great. Now, remember what Nicole said. Who are you talking to? So pretend it's a conversation you're having with your best friend. Looking for a modern, classy lounge where you can get a taste of San Francisco's famed artisan cocktail scene? Look no further than Novella, a sizable, sexy space that's popular with the financial district crowd and conveniently located near downtown hotels in Moscow Center. That was a great improvement. Yeah. And you know, for all of you voiceover hopefuls, I can't tell you how many times they'll give us a piece of commercial copy and say, make this really conversational. And it's written like, come on in for $39.95, as if that's how we speak to each other. <laughs> so it is a skill set that you definitely need to be working on. And nice job. Yeah, and so you showed you... good adjustments. Great and job. That's, that's good. You took direction. That's great. Good. So who do you want to challenge next? No, fix it. All right. Mike adjustment. Mike adjustment. Hi, my name's Mike adjustment. <laughs> Worst joke ever. Located at the foot of Market Street with postcard views of the Bay Bridge and Ferry Building, one market restaurant in San Francisco's premier culinary address. This award-winning landmark under the guidance of Chef Mark Dahman sets the standard for sophisticated urban dining. What better place to begin? Okay. Um, often sometimes when you do commercials, that was good, you're going to find out that you're actually reading for an international crowd. And so I'd like you to do it with a British accent, but a posh British accent. And you are, you are the answer to everything. Okay. I'm okay. Answer to everything. Answer to everything. And, okay. and slow down. Yes. Located at the foot of Market Street with the postcard views of the Bay Bridge of the Ferry Building, one market restaurant in San Francisco's premier culinary Lower. address. This award-winning landmark under the guidance of Speak Chef Speak out of Mark your bum. Loosen up your bum. Loosen up, loosen up, loosen up. <laughs> um, this award-winning landmark under the guidance Closer of... Closer to the mic. Loosen this... up. <laughs> this award-winning landmark under the guidance of Chef Mark Doman sets the standard for sophisticated urban dining. Make love to the words. What better... <laughs> what better place to begin? From the beginning? Yeah. Located at the foot of Market Street with posted view, postcard views of the Bay Bridge and Ferry Building, one market restaurant in San Francisco's premier culinary address, this award-winning landmark under the guidance of Chef Mark Doman sets the standard for sophisticated urban dining. Excellent. Great yeah. adjustment. Nice Great adjustment. Yeah. Relax. Well done. Good job. Next victim! Fascinated with the astonishing natural beauty of a lake, Georgia and upstate New York, Georgia O'Keeffe revel in the discovery of a new subject matter that energizes her signature modest style. From magnified balonic compositions and panoramic landscapes, the works in this exhibit 
offers a deeper understanding of the spirit of the place that was essential for O'Keeffe's artistic evolution. Final Weeks closes May 11th. Do another one. Suck in really close to the mic. Get really tight to the microphone. Slow down a little bit. Drop yeah. your nose down so your nose is almost... There you go. And right. a little more energy. This mean louder. Fascinated with the astonishing natural beauty of Lake Georgia in upstate New York, Georgia O'Keeffe reveled in the discovery of the new subject matter that energized her signature modest style. From the magnified balonic compositions to panoramic landscapes. Stop. Keep going. Don't change a thing. There are adjectives. Do we all know what adjectives are? So if it's panoramic, I want to hear that it's panoramic. Pamaran. Okay, start from the top. With that in mind, read the words, lift them off the page. Okay. Fascinated with the astonishing natural beauty of Lake Georgia in upstate New York, Georgia O'Keeffe reveled in the discovery of new subject matter that energized her signature modest style. Mod <clears throat> from magnified melodic compositions to panoramic landscapes. The works in this ex exposition offers a deeper understanding understand <clears throat> a deeper understanding of the spirit of the place that was essential to O'Keeffe's artistic evolution. Final weeks close May 11th. All right. I like it. Yeah. We got one more. One more. Is your turn? You guys having fun? Him? Mm. A blast. Uh, does everybody feel like they're a lot learning of fun. a lot out here? You feel like you're learning something? <laughs> Me too. I'm serious. <laughs> Rediscover the avant-grade artist of 19th century France with a selection of intimately scaled Impressionist and post-Impressionist paintings whose charm and fluency invite close scrutiny. This celebration of fleeting moments in personal places includes still lifes, portraits, and landscapes by Manet, Monet, Renoir, Gaguin, Morissot, Degas, Pissarro, and Van Gogh. Legion of Honor, Lincoln Park, Lincoln Park, legionofhonor.org. She needs to be way sexier, slower, so, lower. Mm -hmm. So same thing, nose on the top of the mic. I want you right into the mic, and I want you to breathe. And when you breathe, your lungs go all the way down your back. <sighs> yeah, so feel the oxygen, slow it down, okay. and you're trying to make people want what you're selling. Rediscover the avant-garde artist of 19th century. France with a selection of intimately scaled impressionist and post-impressionist paintings whose charm and fluency invite close scrutiny. This <laughs> celebration of fleeting moments and personal places includes still life's portraits and landscapes by Manet, Monet, Renoir, Gaguin, Morisot, Degas, Pissarro, and Van Gogh. Legion of Honor, Lincoln Park, legionofhonor.org. Wow. Thank you. That was... Okay, now we're going to get some audience participation. That was a tough challenge. That was a tough challenge. Oh, I forgot to vote. We need to vote. I'm so sorry. Yes, let's, yeah. vote. let's vote. Should we vote? I, vote? I just want to say before we do the vote, I, that, that was a really hard challenge for these guys. I think they deserve a round of applause Absolutely. just for doing it. And, and by the way, real voice actors are challenged that way every single time they go in for an audition. And they oh, might yeah. say, like Nicole said, you know what, we want to try her British. We want to try him Southern, whatever it is. And you got to be ready to just jump in fearlessly like our contestants. So good job, guys. Yeah. Okay, take a big step forward, everybody, so I can uh, get a uh, all line up. And uh, by audience applause, your favorite from that last challenge. Wow. All right. Wow. 
Okay. So what do you want to see? So my next idea, tell me if you guys love this one. Okay. The, oh, who won? Yeah. I don't know. That's... Striped shirt. Striped shirt? All right, we'll give it to her. All right, nice so job. we're going to get some audience participation. We're going to take turns. You're going to pick one of your favorite characters that any of us do, and you're going to make them do an impression. You're going to pick who's going to do it. So if you want to say, you know, girl in the striped shirt is doing bubbles, go, which I Let's think remind everybody idea. of everybody's name, okay? Just your first name again. Spencer. Heather. Lizzie. Gabriel. Chris. Spencer. Heather. Lizzie. Gabriel. Chris. All right, who's got some ideas? Who's got some ideas? Go ahead. Come up. Who? What do I, who do I want to see? Lizzie. Evil beware, we have waffles. Lizzie's doing a little raven. Okay. <clears throat> raven. Evil beware, we have waffles. Whatever. <laughs> How about giving us a little Azerath Metrion Zinthos? Azerath Metrion Zinthos! Okay. All right. Not Someone bad. else. Thank you. This is called voice matching, and we hate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Who do you want to see? Uh, I'd like to see Spencer Fernandez do Stephen Magnet, the dragon from episode one. <laughs> Stephen Magnet, please. Stephen Magnet, the dragon, the sea serpent. It's got to be a voice that someone in this panel or Peter has done. You have to yeah. pick someone that, so we can feed them some lines. All right. I would like to see my favorite diva dog in the whole world, Zoe Trent. Someone do Zoe Trent. Heather, Heather, why don't you do Zoe? Do you know Zoe Trent? Never seen that show. Okay. Oh Nicole. my God, you're fired. <laughs> You can feed her a line first. And Always she's know your audience and your directors and suck up to them first. She sounds like Celestia, right? <laughs> no. No. Sorry. Well, you can feed her a line and then feed see if line. she can copy Think you. Think rarity without an accent. Think mid-Atlantic. Pose, darling. Pose, pose, pose. Okay. She's very spoiled. Give her a line. I Give her a line that, she, that your character said. Neil, darling, I just need you to listen to me for one minute, just one. Zoe knows exactly what's happening here, and really, you need to listen to me. <laughs> Sunil, darling, I just need you to listen to me for one, just one minute. Trust me, Zoe always knows what she's doing. Yes, I always know what I'm doing. Because I'm Nicole Oliver. <laughs> Suck up to your judges. Nice, nice. Go. Nice. Uh, someone from this side over here. Anyone over here have an idea? Yeah, come on up. Who do you want to see? I want to see Gay do a voice of Princess Celestia. Be very careful. No, 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 come no, here, no, I got no, a line, no. I got a line, 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 I got a line. It's gonna help you, I got a line, really. I might know this character, come here. I dare you to call me son, but one more time. <laughs> to the moon! And no, I don't like bananas! <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I would like Spencer to do Goldie Delicious. All right, mm -hmm. Goldie Delicious does a bunch of crazy cats. Mm -hmm. Usually like to name them Precious and Princess and oh, they look there, Fluffles. <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay, thank you kindly. How y'all doing today? My name's Goldie Delicious. Hold on, I got a cat here somewhere. Hold on, I gotta just, no, I gotta, no. There's a dusty cat in here somewhere, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, here we go. It's the book of Peter News Voices. He does. What's he do? Big Mac and Mac and Hackintosh. What's he do? Well, mm-hmm. it looks pretty. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna ask just about cover. Oh, is that you? Mm-hmm. I'm talking about. I wasn't too sure there for a moment. Hold on. Hold on. Mic and microphone needs to get out the way. Hold on. I gotta get something. Oh, well, here we go. It's the Apple Family Tree book. You a you a green apple or something? Something on your butt? I don't know. That died a long time since I've been able to see my own butt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Have you been drinking some of that special apple cider there? All right. Awesome. Yeah. All right, this one's for you, Peter. Sunil Nevla from Little's Pet Shop. Who do you want to, who do you want to see do it? Oh, man. Oh, Lizzie is the only one that hasn't done one. No, Chris is the only one that has done one. Chris, then? Yep. Do you, have, do you know Little's Pet Shop? you know the show? Yes, I guess I have seen it once or twice. All right. Do you mean we have to get past the spider web of lasers and rescue two mean girls? I hate cobras. So we really have to get past with those spider web of lasers. There's two mean girls, but I hate cobras. Bye. Are you scared, Peter? Are you scared? Should we do one more round, audience, or we want to move on? I think we need to do one more round. One more round. They like this game. All right. So everybody gets another turn. Who do you want to see, and what do you want to see him do? Um, Liz, I'd love to see you do Truffles from Chowder. <laughs> this is for Lizzie? Lizzie, step up to the mic. I'll tell you what to do. All right, honey, I need some shoes. What are you doing? Honey, we got an order. Honey, we got an order. That's yeah. my butt look fat. And she keep repeating me and telling me what to say. <laughs> That's my butt look fat. That's my butt look fat. Chowda! Chowda! Do you have gum? I know that. Do you have sweet? Wait for it. Oh, you're Wait for it. Don't speak. Don't speak. You. Why are you listening to me? I'm listening to you. I don't even know what you're saying anymore. Ready? Listen. Copy this. Chowda! Do you have gum? Chowda! Do you have gum? Okay, go back to your space. Nice. Who's got another one? Oh, pardon me, pardon me. Who's got one? I saw your hand up first. I want to hear Heather talk like Sorry from Transformers Animated. Did one of us do that? No. That's me. That's you. Yeah. I've got, I would have guessed. Hi, I'm Sorry. Um, let's. Bumblebee, come on, let's go. Let's just. Ah, oh, man, I haven't seen the show in forever, you know? I haven't either. Man, is it still going on? Is it still going on? No, it's not. Oh, that's right. They replaced it with that Transformers Prime thing, didn't they? That's sad. Um, let's see. I, I guess I'm a robot of some kind? Uh, I, I, I don't know. What are you saying? Quit yelling at her. She's doing her best. I'm doing my... If you picked characters, I actually knew more reference to. Why don't you do bubbles? My bubbles? Uh, I'll try again. Once then, for you. You've done. You've done. Okay. Two now. You've got two. Got two. Sit down. I promised you one. Hi. Could Spencer do Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z? Very nice. Well, well, well. Let's see what this fool can do. Call me. I'm fool. waiting to hear what sound comes from his mouth. What would you like me to say? Well, two words. You know them. Do them well. (laughs) It's over 9,000! All right. Who do you want to hear? I'd like to hear Timmy Turner. Uh, Chris. Chris is Timmy Turner. All right. I uh, know. No. Chris, you yes. ready? Pay attention to me. Cool, I wish Cosmo and Wanda were here. Cool, I wish Cosmo and Wanda were here. 
Oh, I just hit puberty. Squeeze them. Uh, guys, what could go wrong? Guys, what could go wrong? I hate you, Vicky! I hate you, Vicky! <laughs> uh, oh, God. Oh, darn it. All right. And we still have Gabe, yeah? We have one more? Gabe, you have one more to do? All right. So does anyone have something for Gabe? Twilight Licious. <laughs> Twilight Licious. So, so, so Twilight Sparkle or? Twilight it's Sparkle. It's a song. You don't know it? <laughs> it's okay, Tara. I think we should teach it to him. Are you ready, guys? I'm the T to the W-I-L-I-G-H-T. And ain't no other pony troller down like me. I'm Twilight Licious. <sighs> I'm T W I L I G H T, and no other pony drop it down like me. Yo. <laughs> well, well, well. I have to say, it's gonna be hard. Everybody worked really, really hard. Yeah. So you let's do our awesome. let's let's do our audience uh, vote now. Who do you think okay, succeeded? Audience vote on animated character impressions. Yeah. yeah! Okay. We've decided that you're going to join us, Peter. We're going to make a private vote. We're going to have a private vote. So for the ultimate winner. Yeah, yeah it's so very we're going to vote. Right now. It's, it's very so close. close. So close. Come here, Peter. So, so, um, no, okay. I guess really, do you guys all want to do this for a living? Is this something that's really of interest for you? So what you learned today was you have to be flexible, right? You have to be. Your voice has to be ready. Your brain has to be ready. You have to be able to read, lift copy off the page, take direction. Be willing to make an absolute, complete fool of yourself for large buckets of money. Is this something you think? No you fear. Handle? No fear. But I think I I know I think they all did an amazing job. So audience, while we deliberate, give them a big round of applause. How are you guys doing? Was this fun to watch? <laughs> Does it seem like it might be slightly harder to do than you thought it was before this? <laughs> nope. Awesome. Still really easy then. It was always hard. <laughs> How about you guys? Does this, does this uh, was it harder than you expected? It's way harder, but it's still a lot of fun. Yeah? What about you? What do you think? I think it was harder just because we didn't know what we were going to be doing up here. So the challenge was really just having to be spontaneous and in the moment. Yeah. And so, yeah. And so, yeah. 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 What about you? do you think of it? Yeah. 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 It's, um, this, is what, this is what happens. This is, this, I thought this was a really good representation of what it was like. Waka waka doo doo, yeah. Waka waka doo doo, yeah. It, it was a good representation of what it is like to go to auditions, though, I felt. All right. Everyone, hang on one second, one second. We're still interviewing the contestants. Oh, oh, sorry. Back off. Bunch of jerks. Oh. He's what mad you, with how power. How did you feel about this I uh, usually don't do it in front of an audience, but uh, fortunately I've had some pretty great teachers. So I got to thank them. Awesome, awesome. How'd you feel about it? I felt really great, but doing Timmy Turner, man. Whew. That was tough. Yeah, I, that would be hard for me, too. <laughs> All right, Brian Drummond, do you have something you'd like to say? Yes, we would like to say we are down to two people. Down. Two people. And what these two people will have to do... Let's, why don't okay, we... Yes, first go ahead, you announce the we two. We do want to say, by the way, that everybody kicked booty. You really yeah. did. I mean, amazing. Should we... Not easy. Do you want to congratulate the, the three that we are 
saying goodbye to? Yes. So, um, In your microphone, Nicole. Should we, should we do it like American Idol? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the voice. No, I don't know how they do it. Oh, Christ. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't have a buzzer, so. Um, Gabe, can you step forward, please? Um, any feedback for Gabe? I think that if you're really interested in voiceover, you have a specific niche that you would fit into. So I would really sort of focus in on the things that you really feel like you do well. Like, um, it always makes me crazy when people try to be something that they're not in our business and push themselves because there are plenty of people that do certain things amazing. So for you, it's like the character -y guys, um, the funny villains. You're, you're definitely good with comedic timing. So yeah, if it's your, something your you're interested in awesome. doing, I would for sure take some classes where you can get a lot of mic time and work on your mic technique if there's something local in your area, especially the, the best people to take um, acting classes for voiceover from, by the way, are people that cast these shows because yeah. you, can get a, you can get a real good um, foot in the door that way. So that's my advice. And I keep reading out loud. You know, it's the tip for everybody. Read from the newspaper every day. Get used to lifting words off the page. Get used to being able to cold read. And I think if you can just tighten that little area up, you'll be unstoppable. Yeah, and you got a lot, a lot of range. You can actually go quite deep with your voice and do the high squeaky guys. I've never played a hero once, but done thousands of character voices from the biggest baddies to the little tiny guys. So that's what you got to go for because you got the character thing. So thank Let's you, give Gabe. Give a big round yeah. of applause. Thank you, We're not asking you to say. So thanks, Gabe, everybody. Thank you, Gabe. Thank you. Um, the next person that we are not going to ask to stay, but we would like to celebrate, <laughs> is Chris. Please step forward. Well done, Chris. You know, Chris, I actually think you have a lot more potential than you got to display today. Because sometimes it's hard to get asked to do things that you'd never really book. So I actually hear a lot of potential in you. And if it's something you're really interested in doing, you should definitely move forward with some of the other advice that we gave. Because I think you have a lot of natural talent. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And radio stuff too. Your, your lower register, when you sucked in close to the mic there, has a really smooth. Yeah, you have and, a nice and resonance. A re really nice resonance to it. It's got great sound so that when, you know, when you're not booking cartoons and you're booking radio spots, just ask David Kay. Boy, they pay nice. They pay nice. So, thank you so much. You did great. Right on. Let's give it up for Chris. So, we have Spencer and. Spencer, Heather. Heather, and Lizzie. Can all three of you please step up? Dun, 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 uh. So all these three people, you all really did a great job. You were really flexible. Um, you, you, you took our notes, and you had fun. Um, there were two of you, though, that just shone a little bit brighter. So we would like to right now ask... Um, Spencer to step back, and we'd like to ask. <laughs> you forget Lizzie. your name. No, Lizzie, to step back, <laughs> and we would like to celebrate Heather and her efforts. Girl, you are on Good fire. job, girl. Um, so Heather, I think you can keep working on your accents. I, I have a funny feeling you've got a couple of other ones in there that we didn't quite oh get to hear. Gosh. Well, then keep working on that part of it. Um, and, you know, when you relax and let your voice go a little lower, there's a whole range down here that I don't know if you've quite explored. And the lower you go and the more excited you get with it, you can get a lot of that kind of radio work that we're talking about, you know? And, you know, if I were you, I would take some improv classes, Second City or Groundlings, because it'll give you a lot of confidence with your improv skills. To me, those were the funnest acting classes I've ever taken. And all of us have taken that. A lot of times people say, oh, it's just reading, right? All of us have taken extensive acting classes. And I think for you, the improv would be really, really great. And singing lessons, too. Even if you're not a great singer, you learn a lot about your voice through singing lessons. Yeah. So, All right. Um, singing is a really great, what a great segue, Tara Strong. You're so nice smart. Job. Thank you, thank you. Um, so, hi, you two. Congratulations. Congratulations. Our two finalists. Your finalists, ladies so, and gentlemen, Lizzie and Spencer. In our business, there's a lot of cartoons now with music. 
And as performers, we can't just be great actors. We actually also have to be able to carry a tune. And not only carry a tune, but carry a tune in a character voice as well. So, we are going to have a cartoon sing-off. <laughs> one we looks would, happy, one looks sad. What we would <laughs> like you to do is take a minute. So, for example, for My Little Pony, we were given a choice of a Katy Perry song, which if I hear again, I may hurt someone. Littlest Pet Shop. Uh, no, Littlest, Littlest, Pet Shop. Sorry, Littlest Pet Shop. We had to, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's scarred me already. I can't remember what it was for. It was but we all had to, like, everyone had to learn the Katy California. Perry song. California. Oh, don't California listen. Girls by Katy Perry. We all had to sing California for that. California like. Girls. Da, 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 Forget da, da. about Daisy Duke's bikinis on top. So we all Peter, had, you loved it. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> And Peter booked the show, so he obviously yeah. did a good job. So, so pick a pop song that you know a verse to or something. You know, sometimes you can even just sing happy birthday. But think about it. Think about your best cartoon. I'm at, we're asking for a cartoon voice. Your best voice you have. And you're going to sing. And you're any gonna take, song you want. Any this is your time you to want, shine. You pick it. But it's got a, a verse or two. A verse or two. You've got to be in, you gotta be in the pocket. You've got to be in the character's voice. Yes. Can it be a theater song? Yep. Yes. Theater song? Yes. You're welcome. <laughs> Not from Frozen. Not Frozen. I have two girls at home, and I've heard it enough. Frozen's Froze, not a play yet. It's just a movie. It's not a play, All right. it's not a play yet. Oh, she was going to do it. No, it's okay. <laughs> Are you ready, Lizzie, to go? How about you? Have you got something going on already? You need a minute? She's doing? Let her do Here it. Go. Do you want to? It's a couple of verses. A verse or two. You can choose whatever you want. In a character, be in the pocket. You have to keep in that character. Think about the song you're singing. Think about the words in the song. Think about the character. Because if you're playing a certain type of character, you might say certain words differently than the pop artist. We don't want a mirror of the radio. I want to hear your character singing that song. I know I'm all alone and can't know where to turn, no one to go to. Without a home, without a friend, without a face to say hello to. And now the night is near, and I can make believe he's here. Sometimes I walk alone at night when everybody else is sleeping. I think of him, and then I'm happy with the company I'm keeping. Stop. <laughs> She's getting mad now. Sing to you. And now I'm alone again, and now I'm alone again, no way to turn, no one to go to. Without a home, without a friend, without a face to say hello to. And now the night is near, and I can make believe he's here. Sometimes I walk alone at night when everybody else is sleeping. Okay. How does this character feel? Depressed. She's trying to reassure herself. You yeah. gotta feel sad. Okay, I'm gonna think of dying puppies then. Hey, okay, go. <laughs> to me, to me, sad. Tell me the story. Use the words. On my own, pretending he's beside me. All alone, I walk with him till morning. Without him, I feel his arms around me. And when I lose my way, I close my eyes, and he has found me. Nice job. Nice job. We, we should have called this panel Vocal Workout. OK. Ladies and gentlemen. Spencer. Any character, right? Anyone you want, baby. Own it. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> I I'm blind. I can't see. <clears throat> so I guess people like Aladdin, I guess. <clears throat> I can show you the world. 
smiling, shimmering, splendid. Tell me, princess, now when did you last let your heart decide? <laughs> I. <laughs> Open your eyes. That's hilarious. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Uh, <laughs> a whole new world, a new fantastic point of view. No one to tell us no or where to go or say we're only goofy. <laughs> a whole new world, a Aww. dazzling place I've never seen. <laughs> but when I'm way up here, it's crystal clear. But now I we're in a whole new world with myself. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Right on. You want to keep going? Go when you're up. Go when you're up. Leave Brother, you're up. So, the final deliberation. Um, that, you two, uh, a, a round of applause. That was Another bad. one. Great job. Come on up. Woo! Come on. But I... Uh, I think this performer just went that little bit further, really took the words, as we say, lifted them off the page, made them sing, even though this person wasn't always singing, which is okay. So the winner of The Voice is... Spencer! <laughs> know what he's won. We need to know what he's won, Tara. So do you all want to know what Spencer has won? Yeah. yeah. All right. Spencer, I wish we could offer you on a role on a show, but that's just not what we do here. <laughs> so um, y'all know about Voice Stars? It's over $200 class online. It's advice from all the great voiceover artists literally in the world. Casting directors, show creators, writers, um, SAG representatives, you name it, Billy West, Great Alisle, myself, uh, Tom Kenny, Kevin Michael Richardson, they're all in here giving you their secrets, and that's for you because you got a future, my friend. So you pursue that. Jack. Is there anything you want to say to your new adoring fans? Well, I'm going to Disneyland. <laughs> Give another round of applause to everybody. Thank you for coming to the boys, 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 boys. There's one more piece to this prize. Tomorrow, me and you, baby, lunch. You get to pick my brain about anything you want to know about the business. Anyone of you is welcome to join. We're going to give them all kinds of tips, and you get to have a private lunch with the voice talent. I'm for sure going to be there, and it's open for anyone else that'd like to join us. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming out to see the Thank first you. ever The Voice at BabsCon. And congratulations again to Spencer and all the contestants for coming out. Thank you. Good night. Thank you.